Hey guys, fat buddy cat here. How you doing? Uh, just uh, messing around right now, trying to get some things done. And I got this uh, this oval sitting around. I got all right. This is a vintage style, all right. Uh, from I think it's pronounced Mayer. Uh, so this is this is like a high quality one, all right. And uh. I'm just going to kind of hold it up here and uh, figure out where I can make four holes. All right. And then we'll drill them out. <laughs> and you guys thought we were going to use zip ties. All right. So in uh, marking out our four holes, we're going to need two brackets. Okay. So I got this metal and you see that mark there. All right, that's going to be the first bend. So I'm going to mark out the other one. And I'm going to go ahead and bend them. All right, because I'm going to use two pieces to do this. All right, guys, so I heated these up with map gas. Uh, well, I put them in the vise, heat them up with map gas, all right, and bent them. All right, and then I went in and I measured the length, okay. And I just kind of eyeballed it and then transferred the mark over to the other one all right so that they're the same and uh i'm just going to cut these off there then i'm going to round out those edges up top and those edges down there on the uh table grinder bench grinder all right all right so these holes here are a little bit off all right we're using those fender bracket bolts to mount this thing okay so, I need to bring these this way, okay? So, instead of drilling pilot holes and doing all that, I got one of our new step bits, all right? I got that smaller one, okay? And uh, we'll give it a whirl. All right, so I got my uh, nuts, bolts, and washers picked out, okay? So... Now I know what size to drill my holes in the uh, the brackets, okay? So what I'll do is take off the fender bolts over here, all right? And I'll just put my brackets on, mark my holes, which ones are going to be, and we'll drill them out so that we can put our hardware through, all right? And then I think I, I got them over in the vice, guys. Uh, then I'm going to grind them so that they look alike and uh, get them ready for paint. Alright, so for obvious reasons, uh, just one side at a time. If you try doing both sides, you'll drop the whole thing. So, uh, what we're going to do is hold this up. Okay. And we're trying to make it so that each corner is the same, you know. Has the same reveal or both the same reveal that's where we'll end up marking our holes when we do that all right but right now what we're worried about is the bracket okay it's kind of tipped to the side but you kind of see through it a little bit you can see light spots where the holes are all right so it's looking like we're going to use the bottom one and the second to top one okay so we're going to use this one here and this one here all right and we're going to cut this right across the bottom of this hole and then remake our edge just so that it's a little bit lower. So that way we can guarantee you that it's behind it. All right. And also that we're underneath this, which is just, you know, it's not going to vibrate against that, but it'll just give it a nice clean look. All right. So I got the two pieces drilled out. Okay, I made a straight line across. All right, I'm just going to grind down to that line and round those edges. All right, these ones are already rounded off. All right, guys, I got our dog legs made up here. Uh, you can see I got the angle, you know, where it comes back a little bit towards the bars. Uh, once we get these primed and painted and uh, set in place, we'll make an adjustment. All right, guys. Uh, this is just some real low-grade steel, all right? Um, so I just gave it a quick sand, and then I hit it with the old gas rag, 
okay just to get any oil contaminants right off the surface um we're just going to hit it real quick with the primer and then a couple of coats of the grill paint all right yeah see what i mean guys just let that primer do its thing all right and i just put them on their side hit them with the first coat and i'll flip them on the other side hit them with the other coat and we'll be done with it okay so now we have our two painted brackets okay these are looking nice all right and uh i cut out some little rubber squares it's just some little thin stuff all right just use the razor blade uh it's going to be up underneath this all right it's actually going to be i think yeah on this side okay it's going to go up here all right underneath everything all right because otherwise we'll have metal on metal okay so they didn't do that but we will and uh what we're gonna do is just put the brackets on first uh it's kind of hard with one hand so let me get one on and i'll show you what it looks like all right guys so like i said i held it up so they had even quadrants all right and then i swear if you hold up straight it's pretty straight all right um so anyways i marked the bottom two okay and drilled those out and this one uh, guys this stuff drills like hot butter it's a little bit wide all right that washer would cover it but i'm gonna go ahead with this style i found four of those all right what i'm gonna do is snug my bottom ones up just so i know that these two are straight right and this thing has no more of this going on and i'll mark these top two drill them all right all right there's our new hardware okay uh we're gonna add a lock washer even though these are nylock nuts just to take up some space all right i get it on there all right now once you have the bolt on your plate tightened okay you're gonna go back now and you're gonna tighten these ones okay and it's just a 10 up top and a 12 down bottom okay all right there it is guys take pride in your work and reap the benefits you know what i'm saying dang now that's a that's a vintage color yellow okay um probably off like a a dirt bike you know uh let's say like a suzuki or yamaha but who knows back then all right so uh, that's what we got that's looking pretty bad huh Let's see if I, I'll turn it this way, see if we get the same effect. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Get that other grip in there. All right, huh? So, uh, remember guys, it's fully adjustable now, all right? We can, we can give it the old and uh, pull it away forward if we want. All right, we got plenty of room back here for our controls all our wires and goodies to come through right and look how nice that looks okay that's like a professional job all right that's good stuff we're not even touching how are we looking over here look at that all right guys not a whole lot of action but we got something done and who knows maybe there's more to come tomorrow anyways you have a good night thanks for watching <laughs> you know what it is <laughs>